Hi guys, welcome to Cake and Bake. My name is Anna and for today's video I'll be sharing with you how I made this teddy bear themed cake with cute rainbows, stars, and clouds. So let's get started. This cake is a chocolate cake and I started out by leveling each of my bread making sure that each layer is perfectly leveled so that later on when we start our icing it will be it won't be wobbly <laughs> next is my simple syrup again simple syrup is one part water and one part sugar now the reason i put simple syrup on my bread is because my cakes normally they have decorations and designs and those decorations they take time so most likely my bread will start to dry out and with the help of my simple syrup, my bread will stay moist. Now moving on, I am applying my frosting. This is a chocolate frosting. Now something happened with my video. I can't remember, my crumb coating is gone. But anyway, in this part, I already crumb coat my cake and now I'm applying my final coat. Uh, I am using buttercream frosting for my final coat here. Once I have applied all of my buttercream on the outer layer or outer part of my cake, I am now using a scraper. The scraper will help smoothen out the outside of my cake. This takes time, believe me, <laughs> but I'm not being very tedious with it since I will be covering it with fondant anyway. Unlike if it's a wedding cake, a wedding cake they're normally not covered with a fondant and you have to have a very nice smooth looking buttercream or a frosting outside. So yeah, that's what your scraper is for. While my cake is on the fridge chilling for the meantime, I have here a blue fondant that I am smoothing out using my rolling pin and making sure that it's going to be wide enough to cover my whole cake. Once I'm done smoothing it out, I will be using my fondant smoother to smooth it more, making sure there aren't any air bubbles. And once that's done, I put it on top of my cake to cover it and uh, moving very, very fast. So you want to make sure that you move fast here because sometimes your fondant can um, rip on you or it can create bubbles on the side. So you have to move very fast so that you achieve that smooth outer fondant on your cake. Now again, I lost the video. <laughs> I wasn't able to show you guys how I created those sharp edges on top of my cake. But anyway, it's just too fun and smoother that I'm clasping on top. That's how I got that. See, that's how I did it. <laughs> and after I got those, smooth, those uh, sharp edges on my cake, using the toilet method, I am covering with the same color of fondant uh, my um, cake board so that it will look uniform with my cake. Moving on to my cake border. I have rolled out a white thin fondant long strip and using my cloud cutter, I made a very light impression on the top of that strip that I created. And using those impression as a guide, I used my exacto knife to cut through it. Once I'm done with that, I use some water to brush it at the bottom of my cake so that that border that I made earlier will adhere or stick on my cake. And now for those elements that we will be putting on top of the cake. So I have again another white fondant uh, using my cloud cutter again. I cut at least three of those and I'm going to set them aside to dry and harden for decoration later on. And also I have prepared several colors. These are all pastel colors. 
uh, I will be uh, doing the same process that I did with the cloud but this time these are tiny stars and I have here a food grade um, wire I stick those wire each wire underneath my uh, stars and I will be setting them aside again to dry out for later on once those cloud has hardened and dried using my edible pen, I am painting or drawing a face for my cute little clouds. You know, just putting in those eyes and a cute smile. And with my edible um, rose gold luster dust, I put in some cute um, cheek. <laughs> and with the same colors that I used for the stars, I rolled it out into long strips and stack it all together in the shape of a rainbow and uh, ahead of time I've cut this uh, this uh, this figure out from a uh, uh, foam board and I will use this as a um, how do I say it it will be the one to help my strips to adhere together and make sure that it's supported properly on my cake later on so I just put them all and stack them all together using some water and after that, I cut the bottom just to get rid of those extra fun and below. And moving on to the star of our cake, which is the teddy bear. I have here some brown fondant, and I started with the teddy bear's body, shaping it into a cylinder, kind of cylinder, uh, triangular shape and set it aside to harden and now I'm rolling out the teddy bear's head. Um, I don't want it to be a perfect circle as the teddy bear's head is not a perfect circle. It's kind of an oval, something like that. <laughs> and after I've done that, I am now moving on to make his uh, legs uh, using some, a, a strip or a long strip of that brown fondant I just folded the very end so that it would um, look like as if, as if um, his feet were um, standing up right, if, uh, if that was right. <laughs> and after that, same process with the hands, a long strip again, and at the very end or tip of that long strip, uh, that will be his hands and or his paw. I cut a little um, notch on the side to create like um, his thumb and I will be doing the same for the other one which will be for his right arm. I also have here a uh, pinkish color fondant <laughs> using my uh, piping tape. I use those circles to cut it out and the bigger one I will be putting it under his feet and the smaller ones will be for his ears. Now I can't find the video that I that I did earlier how I made those um, ears but uh, yeah it's just a fondant again that I had to shape like into a um, arch and uh, now I have adhered those ears on top of his um, head and using some black fondant I'm making his eyes same with his nose. Now, if you will notice um, in the middle of the head, there is an indention as if it was like sewn. So I have a, a tool for that that I use uh, that to show that as if um, a fondant has been sewn together or something like that. And using my, uh, my tool here, um, I am uh, making some indentions for his mouth so you can see that he is smiling. Now that my teddy bear has hardened already, I am now using some toothpick to um, support it to put on top of my cake and one by one I'm attaching the legs as well and there he is. And now moving on with the same colors that I used earlier for the stars and the rainbow, I am cutting some squares. So this will um, this will be the blocks, like alphabet blocks on top of the cake. So 
I've cut them out and using my edible pen, I will be manually writing down the letters of the alphabet. And also guys, I want to invite you to follow my Instagram. It's AnnaCorpus19. You will be able to see some of the other cakes that I have made before. And yeah, you can also send me in a, a message there through my Instagram if you have any questions about the, the cakes that I create and make. <laughs> and now the final part is I start putting in all of those elements that we have created. I started out with the uh, rainbow. I stick it at the back or behind the teddy bear. And those clouds that we did earlier as well, put it on his side, on both sides. Now that would also um, create as an illusion so that it will cover those stick uh, from the rainbow. And those stars, um, I'm sticking them one by one, making sure that they look pretty and nice uh, on both sides of the teddy bear. And you will also see here that the blocks that I've done earlier have already hardened. And using some toothpick can, I stick it on top of the cake next to the teddy bear. So we, uh, though I put some water underneath so that it will adhere to the fondant, I still make sure to put some toothpick just to be sure that it won't go anywhere. <laughs> also, I have printed out um, the, the, the name of the celebrant. His name is DJ. And I printed it out and cut it out and um, use it as a guide on my fondant. Um, I cut out this square shape with scalloped edges so that it will, um, that's where I will be putting his name and that will be, stick. Uh, I will stick that on the middle of the cake. And I'm using here some rose gold luster dust, which I just dil uh, diluted with some uh, vanilla extract, uh, clear vanilla extract, and started painting it on the fondant. And now for the final part of the cake, which is the greeting, which I will be painting on the cake board. So it will say there, first birthday and christening. I am using the same, uh, uh, what do you call that? Um, luster dust. It's the rose gold luster dust infused with some or diluted with some uh, clear vanilla extract. And again, guys, I want to take this chance to thank you again for watching my video and make sure to uh, click to that subscribe, <laughs> click subscribe so you'll be, um, you'll be able to see my other videos and click that notification bell right there so that you're updated for um, any new videos that I post. I really do try my best to post videos weekly, but you know, sometimes um, we get really busy. Um, also, Again, uh, follow me on my Instagram. It's anacorpus19. You'll be able to see more cakes there that I have done from the past. And also, I do have a Facebook page. It's um, just search Cake and Bake by Anna, and the N should be the letter N, not A N D. So follow me there for you to be uh, updated with videos and pictures of new cakes that I uh, decorate or create. And here for the final touch of my kink, I have a blue fondant that I just cut into a heart shape and poke some tiny holes and using some um, sprinkles, white circle sprinkles, I put them inside each of those holes that I created. My goodness, this was very tedious. It, look, it just looks easy, but it took a while because those tiny sprinkles, it kept on falling on me. <laughs> so this will, um, this will be the pillow that the teddy bear will be holding or hugging. 
Um, if you will notice, I'm also using that tool just to create like bent marks on uh, each side of those um, sprinkles so that as if it has been sewn. And now I am putting it in the middle where Mr. Teddy Bear here will be hugging it. And that ends that cake. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys again. Have a great day. Bye for now.